Welcome to the ACS Daily News. The Massachusetts legislature recently passed funding for a pilot program to expand access to support services for those with developmental disabilities over the age of 21. State Senator Paul Feeney led part of the effort and we spoke with him to learn more. My name is Paul Feeney. I'm the state senator from here in the Bristol and Norfolk district. And I'm excited today to announce that we've successfully gotten an appropriation through our FY23 budget to help people with intellectual developmental disabilities, especially those on the autism spectrum. You know, we heard earlier this year from the ARC of Massachusetts who does incredible work on a daily basis for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities that there was this gap in coverage when it came to ABA services or what they call applied behavior analysis. We've seen over the years that applied behavior analysis works, especially for those on the autism spectrum. But the problem is that once that individual turns 21 years old, if they're covered under Mass Health, that ABA services, they, they go away. So these individuals were faced with kind of the proverbial cliff uh, where those services that, that meant so much to them that you know, fostered, um, you know, fostered treatment and, and care in these individuals would go away. So the Arkham Massachusetts reached out and they said, Senator, we are in a crisis here. We realize that many of these families that receive ABA services and what they call day habilitation programs, um, it's, it's very difficult to live without those services. The treatment may go away, but the conditions that they're dealing with, the individual, uh, you know, they, they, their, their needs don't change when they turn 21. So we have a real problem here. And we need to be able to invest. We need to make sure that Mass Health continues this treatment for an individual even beyond their 21st birthday. So we got together and we, we looked at the opportunities that we had in the fiscal year 23 budget and we said, well, why don't we do this? Let's come together and fund a pilot program. So essentially what our amendment does and what the appropriation will do is allow the Arkham Massachusetts to choose 50 individuals through day habilitation programs that are already existing and allow them to continue ABA services, applied behavior analysis services, beyond an individual's 21st birthday. And then we can measure it. We can see if, if the data shows us that that treatment was effective, if it shows us that it, it's still important for that individual, we can then take that data, come back to the legislature, and say this is something that we should be investing in going forward. We have to close this gap. Other states have been doing it. It's time for Massachusetts to be able to you know, meet the needs of these individuals and the services that they require beyond the 21st birthday. So we were successful in getting a $200,000 amendment uh, for this pilot program. My hope is that it's put to good use and quick use. We'll come back with the data and then hopefully we can come back and, and look for a longer term solution going forward. And if you go to the Ark of Massachusetts, you can read the stories of families um, you know, that are just doing, doing amazing things to try and take care of their loved ones, um, you know, to get the treatment that they deserve, to, to live a comfortable life where they're not a danger to themselves or to others, uh, to really to flourish. You know, the Arkham, Massachusetts and many of the families are connecting their loved ones with jobs and making sure that they're happy from day to day, that they're productive, that they're out there working, that they're contributing.